In my quest for fine wine, I've come here to judge a wine show where I know there are going to be heaps of free booze. Can't wait. Now I'm told by my colleagues that if you dress like a laboratory assistant, you can go incognito and people will think you're a technical judge. How do I look? Well, I'm here at New South Wales Wine Show where the acronym should actually read Never a Shabby Wine. That was me thinking it was nude, sexy women. Ha! <laughs> Not true. Got my clipboard. I look like Dr. Beer Spills, MW. That's Master of Wine. Not. I think we should go in and judge some wines. Or at least drink some. Okay, I've located the judges. I'm going in. Nobody knows. I'm gonna go up to a table and start judging the wine. I've been told it's really easy. One of the perks of the wine show is the sandwiches. Judges clamour and try and get the best ones available. I've got myself in a position where I can get the best sandwiches available. Someone bring me a drink? Judging wine is actually takes a lot of technical ability. I'm told that my fellow judges all taste every one of these wines. I have palate acuity, which means I can just walk by by the power of my nose and my palate. I can discern which is the best wines here. That's a bronze and that's a silver. That one's pretty. That one is oxidized. But here is the BS gold. Bloody great. I've tried some wines, but now I've got a scoop. I've stolen the chairman's notes, and I've got some pretty interesting comments. Uh, Pinot Noir, try to use Pinot grapes. Pinot Gris, more neutrality than the whole of Switzerland. Simeon, like riding in a canoe, pretty bloody close to water. <laughs> and Shiraz, Stemmy must try harder. Wow, tough bunch of judges. Uh, uh, it's red, uh, it's from New South Wales, uh, red from New South Wales, oxidized, bretty, from New South Wales, I'm not sure, but this is the champion wine. See ya. <laughs> that was that way though. Yeah,